Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Entertainment News. In just a moment, we're going to get to today's story, but before we get there, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel, maybe become a member for $2.99 a month, and stick around and see what we've got going on here. All right, so as for that news, a bit of sad news out of the world of movie art, because unfortunately, uh, legendary Jaws poster artist Roger Castell has passed away. Uh, that is such an iconic poster. Um, one of the most iconic pieces of movie poster art of all times is the original art for Steven Spielberg's horror classic Jaws, the work of an artist by the name of Roger Castell. Bloody, disgust, bloody disgusting is sad to learn this week that Castell, who also painted the equally iconic poster for The Empire Strikes Back, has passed away at the age of 91. The legendary artist, art, Jaws artist, which has been parodied and ripped off countless times over the years, was originally created as a new cover art for Peter Benchley's novel, that paper burnt back artwork was eventually purchased by Universal, who used it as the art for Spielberg's movie. Castell recalled his process in the documentary, The Shark is Still Working. I did a very rough sketch, and the publisher said, that's great, just make the shark realistic and bigger. Uh, make him very much bigger. Castell, of course, obliged, whipping up a terrifying oil painting that was no doubt responsible for selling countless books and likely even more movie tickets. Castell's painting is still to this day one of the most recognizable pieces of pop culture artwork. The art itself a major piece of merchandise for Universal and the Enduring Jaws brand. Uh, there is more to this story, and if you want to read it yourself, um, flip on down to the description, and I will leave a link to it there. Uh, so, yeah, um, very sad news. Well, I mean, not that sad, considering the fact that the man was 91, so he no doubt lived a long and happy life, and um, very much contributed to uh, our enjoyment of the movie industry over the decades. Um, but yeah, you, you hate to see um, these greats pass away. Um especially in the world of movie poster art right now, which uh, is not new at this point, but recent decades, more and more um, uh, Photoshop art of questionable quality, um, which, you know, I, I'm not anti-technology, but at the same time, there's just something that resonates with honest-to-goodness, hand-painted artwork. And uh, more and more, um, there's a divide between sort of like the physical media releases where um, sometimes you're seeing cheesy, um, mocked up Photoshop art. And then other times you have companies that are smart enough to know that, yeah, include the original key, key artwork from the film because, you know, it's worth preserving and it's the artwork that generations of fans remember. And it's, I think it's the best way to portray those films. Uh, whereas um, I've gone back and forth on this a bit personally, but it seems like some of the, the new artwork may act a bit as a little bit of a, a bit of a lie um, to maybe convince some people that, yeah, this is a newer film that they've never heard of. And okay, if that gets them to, to discover a film they not, otherwise would not have checked out, okay, but to still um, at the least put the original artwork under the slipcase for me, please, um, because it's, it's worth preserving. But yeah, and you know, the the art scene for, for movies is still changing. Um, first, you had the original paintings, uh, then you had the addition of Photoshop and di different digital techniques, and now AI is coming and is here, and that's gonna change things in a whole new way. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how this affects um, affects things, um, and will it um, inevitably um, lead to a, a renaissance for authentic hand-painted artwork such as the great posters for Jaws and Empire Strikes Back. Um, what do you think? Uh, if you have something positive or constructive to say, feel free to drop it in the comment section below. Once again, please subscribe. Maybe spend a couple bucks a month to uh, join our channel as a member and support us for what we're doing here. And in the meantime, or <laughs> until the next time, keep it creepy.